Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. I really do hope that everybody's doing so well at the comfort of your very own home. And I really do hope that everybody's feeling the wonderful love, grace, and powerful work of the Lord in the life of each and every one of us. I know, I know, I know. it's been 10 weeks already. It's been 10 weeks since, uh, you know, the last time that we have seen each other as a congregation, that we don't meet together, you know, 10 weeks na. And I really do, don't, do not know for how long more that it will uh, going to take place, you know. But I really do pray that the Lord will arrest this virus, you know, and everything will go back to our normal Sunday worship service. You know, they say that this is uh, the new normal. It's so amazing that, you know, uh, before that they say stay away to the negative people and stay to uh, stay close to the positive people but now they say you have to stay away to the positive people of course I'm talking about those people who, with COVID-19 you, know? you, you don't want to be infected you know? and it, just like um, before you want to visit uh, your loved ones, your especially the elderly, you know, just like when you visit them, it's an act of love. But now it's just like it shift, it turned differently. That they say staying away from the elderly is an act of love. I know it's so amazing, and you know, just like before shaking hands. You know, when you shake hands with other people, it's a gesture of care, it's a gesture of agreement, it's just a gesture that you are connecting with people. But you know, nowadays it's something that we should avoid shaking hands, wherein things change so differently, you know. So the question that I have with all of us is what is our perspective? What is our attitude with this COVID-19 that is around us? So it's just like it, it's prolonging your own quarantine time, your lockdown, your stay home uh, moment, you know, with this lockdown, with this uncertainty. What is our perspective what is our attitude towards all this thing that is going on that is happening you know you can respond with these uh, things that is uh, surrounding us with this uncertainty that is going on in, in two ways you can respond in fear you no know? it's just like you are fear of uh, uh, uncertainty you are fear of Mawala na ng pagkain, wala na tayong makain, you know. It's just like, uh, wala na tayong, uh, the bank account is is drying down, you know. It's just like, or you can respond with faith. Yan. So, ano yung response natin? Ano yung attitude natin towards with these things that is going on? And uh, what you choose today, you know, will echo for the duration of your time. It's just like, and it will mark from generation to generation the thing that you choose now. And as a Christian, bilang isang Christiano, we are called to live not for fear. We are not called to live uh, in fear, but we are called to live in faith, in faith of our Lord, our Savior, our Provider, the God who cares and the God who loves us. And how do you see God? You know, just like, how do we see God today? Is he, is he the God that is listening God pa rin ba para sa atin? That after we are spraying so much, it's just like it seems like things is still happening. So how do we see God today in this kind of situation, in this kind of uh, things that is going on around us today? Today, I'll, let us take a look at this. And I do believe it is a... Uh, very appropriate you know and very timely that we have to take a look at the um psalms 23 it's the, something that i want to talk about uh this morning and uh let us take a look at this uh writing or this psalm of a uh, david on how he look at god on what is his perspective about god his attitude towards god even in spite of the valley of the shadow of death you know he has this wonderful and great perspective of the lord that pwede nating makuha na pwede nating i-adapt sa ating buhay so today this morning i would like to read to you 
uh, that passage which is in Psalms chapter 23 and uh, uh, 1 to 6. Ano? It says here, and I'm reading on a uh, New King James Version. Okay, It says here, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my souls. He lead me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You restore my... Uh, my uh, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Today, today, I, 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 I want to divide this, uh, this uh, book of Psalms into probably uh, uh, three Sundays or four Sundays. And today, today, I just want to take a look at the first um verse it says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want you know i'm reading it in the new king james version but in, in uh nlt new um uh new living translation it says i have all that i need the lord is my shepherd i have all that i need in in niv in a uh, new international version sabi niya the lord is my shepherd I lack nothing. And I would like to uh, bring to you, ang gusto kong translation dito is yung NLT na sabi, I have all that I need. You know, the Lord is my shepherd. I have all the, that I need. You know, the Lord, the Lord says, the Lord is my shepherd. Yung the Lord, yung the Lord that is used here comes from the word Yahweh, the Lord. The Lord, the Yahweh. Yung Yahweh, ang ibig sabihin ng Yahweh, it is He who was and who is and who is to come. He is the God of the yesterday, today, and forever. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng Yahweh. He was, He is, and He is to come. He is the God who is yesterday, today, and forever. He is the God of the past, the present, and the future. He is the all-powerful God. He is the creator. He is the sovereign God. He is the greatest in the beginning and he is the one who will stand forever. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng my the Lord. The Lord, the Yahweh, the God of the past, present, and future. The greatest God, the one who will stand forever. Yun ang ibig sabihin niya dun. So, ibig sabihin, God is the sovereign God. God is the powerful God. Despite of whatever happening, whatever the situation that we are going through in our life, it doesn't change the fact that God is the Yahweh. God is the God who is sovereign. God is the God who is powerful. God is the God who loves and cares for all of us. Alam nyo, in the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, ang sabi niya, I am the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the Almighty God. He is the one who is, who was, and who is to come. He is the Almighty God. And He is God Himself who is testifying that, that He is the Almighty and powerful God. He is the beginning. He is the now, the present. He is the God who is reigning right now despite of this pandemic, despite of this coronavirus, God is still reigning and He is the God who will reign forever. And you know, if you will remember Moses, Moses, when God asked him, you know, the Lord asked Moses na, to, to deliver the people of Israel, you know, and Moses asked God, sabi niya, nung tinawag siya ni Lord, sabi niya, to, to set the people free from uh, from Egypt, from slavery. That was uh, recorded in the book of Exodus. And sabi niya, so Exodus chapter 3 verse 13, and sabi niya, Who will I say you are? Kung ako talaga tinawag mo, what if they will ask me who you are? Anong pangalan mo? Anong pangalan ang sasabihin ko? Ang sabi ni Lord sa kanya, I am 
who I am. Yun ako, I am who I am. So the Lord, the Lord na sinasabi dito sa, sa Psalms 23, the Lord, the Yahweh, He is the I am, that I am, He is the most powerful God. Ako ay ako. So how do we see God today? How do we see God in this situation with this uncertainty that He is, that's going on, that is happening? Sometimes we have a lot of hardship that are going on in our life with that a lot of people are being affected. You know, affected yung trabaho, affected yung buhay, affected yung lifestyle, affected yung bank account. You know, everything is affected. But the question is, how do we see God today in times of the pandemic, in times of the coronavirus, in times of uncertainty? Do we see God as the God who doesn't care? Do we see God who seems like He is a God who is judgmental, that He's judging people right now in spite of all these things that's going on, probably we're seeing God as God who is disappointed with us. Na, ah, God is disappointed with me. God is the shepherd, the Lord, the Lord. He is the King. But sabi ni King David, you know, King David, the author of the book of Psalms dito, especially in Psalms 23, he is king already. And David, he gives a very different perspective. He gives a different picture of who God is, of who Yahweh is. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. You know, during this time, King David is already a king. You know, when, when he wrote the book of Psalms 23, David, David did this, kumbaga, king na siya, no? King. So he's supposed to look somebody who is higher than him. Sabi niya, sabi niya, pwede niya sabihin, the Lord is my highest king, my highness. Kasi siyempre, yung king siya. Pero but he says, the Lord, pwede niya sabihin, the Lord is my Lord, my king. Pero sinabi niya, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd because he is seeing himself as the one, the lamb who needs caring. The lamb who needs taking care of. Amen? So he described, described God, the most powerful God, the most highest God, the sovereign God. He described the Lord as the shepherd. If you would remember, David, David was also a shepherd. He was a shepherd before he was a king. He was a shepherd before he beaten Goliath, you know. He was a shepherd. So in the book of Psalms, you know, the amazing things, the amazing things about the book of Psalms. The name of the Lord. 11 names of the Lord was mentioned in the book of Psalms. The Lord, the Jehovah, the God, the Yahweh, the Lord, the Lord who is the shepherd, the Lord. In the book of Psalms, Psalms 12, 23 alone, these six verses right here, the six names of the Lord was mentioned. And sabi niya dito, Jehovah, sabi niya, the Lord is my shepherd, the Lord, Jehovah Raha. Jehovah Raha means it's the Lord is my shepherd. He also says that Jehovah Jireh, He is my provider. In verse 1, it, was, it says there, the Lord has everything that I need. Hindi na ako mangangailangan pa. He is my provider, Jehovah Jireh. He is the Jehovah Shalom. He is the God, the Lord of peace. Bibigyan ka niya ng kapayapaan. He is the Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. He is the Lord, the Jehovah Chidkinu, the Lord of righteousness. This the Jehovah Shama, the Lord is present. Shama, shashamahan ka niya kahit saan ka pumunta. Shashamahan ka niya kahit in the shadow of the valley of the shadow of death. Shashamahan ka niya because He is the Jehovah Shama. Ano? He is the Jehovah Esher. The Lord, my help. Jehovah Nisi is the Lord, my victory. Jehovah in Kadesh. 
Ayan. The Lord, my holiness, the Lord is my sanctification. He is the Jehovah manna, the Lord, my fortune. He is the Jehovah chalek, the Lord, my inheritance. And 11 names of the Lord was uttered, was mentioned, was revealed just in the book of Psalms 23, verses 1 to 6 alone. It says here, The Lord, the Lord, the Jehovah, the Master, the Sovereign, you know, the Lord, the, the, the Almighty God, the Yahweh, sabi niya dito, is my, is my. That's the key, that's the key to make the Lord yours, to make the Lord your personal. He said, the Lord is my, my shepherd. It's not the shepherd of my neighbor. It's not the shepherd of the other people. But it is my say, my shepherd. It's my shepherd personal. He claimed the Lord to be his. You can claim the Lord to be your, serve, uh, your, your, your shepherd. You can claim the Lord to be the shepherd of your life, the shepherd of your soul. Oh, just like King David says, the Lord, this Jehovah, this, this Yahweh, the powerful, the sovereign, the God who is yesterday, today, and forever is my, is my. That is the key. The key is to make the Lord yours, to make the Lord your personal Lord, personal Savior, your personal shepherd. He said, the Lord is mine. If you want to experience lying down in green pasture, make the Lord yours, your Lord, my shepherd. If you want to lie down and experience lying down in green pasture, Make him your shepherd. If you want the Lord to to, uh, to lead you beside still water, if you want the Lord to help you walk in the path of righteousness, if you want to walk in the valley of the shadow of death with God beside you, if you want to stand in the presence of the enemy and have a feast, if you want the goodness of and mercy of the Lord to follow you all the days of your life. That is the key to make the Lord, to make God, to make the sovereign God, the Savior, the Lord, make Him yours, personal shepherd. Make Him the shepherd of your life do you want to do that do you want to be lying down in green pasture do you want to walk in the valley of the shadow of death and fear no evil for god is with you that is the key make god to be your personal shepherd your personal Lord, and do you want to do that? The Bible says, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Make the Lord your shepherd, not the shepherd of your neighbor, not the sheep shepherd of anybody else, but your personal shepherd. Merong intimacy, merong closeness. Alam nyo, Yung pala nga, no, this is what I found out. When a ship is born, ano, one day old pa lang ang, ang ship. When a, a, a ship is born one day old, ang ginagawa pala ng shepherd, the good shepherd, ano, what he does is he will carry, he will carry the, 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 the baby, the, the lamb, you know, carry niya. Kukuha siya. Wala, wala akong ship dito. Kunwari ito, ito, this will be my ship. This will be my, the one-year-old ship. Ikikirin niya daw yung ship. Kakausapin niya yung ship. He will talk to the ship. So the ship will hear his voice. So the ship will recognize the voice of his shepherd. Siyempre nakapikit pa yung mata noon. He will talk to the shepherd. Sabi niya, he will give name to the ship. So sabi niya, pag ang sheep was born on the first day, kikerry na niya yung kakausapin niya, he gives name. Bibigyan niya ng ano bang pag, magandang pangalan dito sa sheep na to. Uh, 
Nilda. Ha? Ang ganda pangalan ng Nilda. No? So, Nilda. Nilda. Kakantahan niya si Nilda. No? Kakantahan niya. Nilda. 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 Para alam ng sheep ang voice ng kanyang shepherd. Nilda. Kakanta niya ng lolo ba? Tulog na. Nilda. Tulog na. Di ba? So, ganun. Kalabing. Ganun ka-care ang Lord. No? Kung ma ma makikita lang natin at ma-experience natin yung great love ni Lord, talagang maiiyak ka. Ganun pala kalaki yung pag-ibig sa akin ni Lord. Ganun pala. Kahit na yung bilang ng buhok mo, alam niya, alam din niya kung ilan yung nalugas dyan at ilan yung mga tumutubo. So David, David made a declaration. David made it Uh, personal to the Lord. He made the Lord personal shepherd. He said, the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. We have to make the Lord the personal shepherd. It is not the shepherd of anybody, but it is our own shepherd. Jesus, even Jesus Christ himself, he repaired to him as the shepherd. He referred himself to be the shepherd according to the book of John chapter 10 verse 11. And sabi ng Lord, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd laid down his life for the sheep. He lays down his life for the sheep. Kapag merong mga vulture dyan, merong mga wild animals who want to devour the sheep. Here comes the shepherd that he will lay his life. Kahit na roaring lion pa yan, na gustong sumalanta, na gustong kumil, steal, and destroy do kanyang mga sheep, he will lay his life for the benefit, for the well-being, for the security of the sheep. Ganon tayo kamahal ng Diyos even though we walk to the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. Why? Because the shepherd is with us. Because the shepherd will lay his life for you. That Jesus Christ died on the cross. That he gave his life in order for us not to take the wrath of God, the punishment that should belong to us, but He take it on the cross that He lay His life for you and for me. Amazing. And the good thing is, in the book of John chapter 10 verse 14, I am the good shepherd that He is declaring that He is the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep knows me. You know, the good thing is, whatever you are going through, whatever you are suffering maybe right now, whatever you are going through in your life right now, God knows everything. Your pain, your sorrow, your grief, even your joy, even you are celebrating, even you are joyful right now. God wants to celebrate with you. If you are happy, God is happy for you because you are happy. And if you are lonely, you are in trial, you are in trouble God is with you God embrace God's love is with you that he is with you sabi niya dito I know my sheep I know what my sheep is feeling God knows if the sheep are hungry a lot of people are hungry right now no uh, the the food bank line is getting so long you know just like god knows what you feel god knows what you are going through sabi niya i know my sheep god knows you whoever you are whatever you are going through god knows everything about you and sabi niya dito my sheep knows me The real sheep of the Lord knows his shepherd, knows the shepherd who cared for him when he was one year old, one day old pa lang na ipinapanganak. Because the first day that he was born, pikit pa yung mata, hindi pa naglalakad, kikiri na siya ng good shepherd. Kakausapin na siya ng good shepherd. Bibigyan na siya ng pangalan ng shepherd. Kakantahan na siya ng shepherd para ma-recognize niya yung voice ng shepherd. 
Kaya sabi niya, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep. Kahit na ang daming sheep. You know, when a shepherd is tending a, 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 a flock of sheep, marami yan. 100 nga, sabi nga, iiwan niya yung 99 para lang hanapin yung isa, yung one sheep that is missing. So at least, ang dami. Ang daming sheep niya. But regardless, kahit marami yung sheep, kilala niya ang mga sheep niya one by one. He knows his sheep one by one and he knows them by name. So God knows you by name and God calls you by your name. Amen. So God knows everything that you are going through. Trial, suffering, fear, anxiety. A lot of people are having fear and anxiety right now. But God is the God of comfort. God will comfort you. And the question is, do we know the voice of our shepherd? Do we know the voice of our Lord? Do we know the voice of the one who cares and uh, uh, and wants to lay down his life for you and me? You know, in, in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 27 to 28, it says, My shepherd, listen to my voice. I know them. If you are a shepherd of the Lord, you know, if you are a sheep of the Lord, the sheep of the shepherd, you know the voice of the Lord. You know the voice of your master. You know the voice of your shepherd. Because there's no question about the shepherd knowing you because the shepherd knows you. The shepherd calls you. The shepherd nurtures you, you. The shepherd calls you by name. He cares for you. But the question is, do we listen to the voice of our shepherd? Sabi niya dito, and they follow me. Those ones who listen to the voice of the shepherd, where the shepherd walk, they follow. Do we follow the Lord? Do we obey our shepherd? Do we obey because the the very will of the shepherd for us is the well-being of us. Is for our sake, is for our good para tayo mapabuti, hindi tayo pa para mapasama. So if you follow the voice of your shepherd, you know that it leads you towards the green pasture. It leads you towards the, the water that is very still moving. He will lead you to the path of righteousness for the, His name's sake. That even though you walk to the valley of the shadow of death, you feel no evil for God. Your shepherd, your Yahweh will be with you. Sabi niya dito sa verse 28, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. That is a wonderful thing. So the care that God is giving us is not just the care that is temporary. It's not just the care that is right here on the world. But it's something that is eternal. Something that is forever. God wants to give you eternal life. Not just the life for the be being. That's not the life for the uh, temporal, not just the, the life that we just have right here that ends, but God wants to give us life that is forever. God wants to give us the life that is eternal. So the question, the question that I would like to ask to you is, do we know the voice of our shepherd? The Lord is my Shepherd, do we want the Lord to be our personal, my, my shepherd? And do we listen? Do we listen the voice of our shepherd? Do we know or do we know the voice of our shepherd? You know, in this world, there are a lot of voices. There are a lot of voices that you can hear. There's a lot of comments, you know, just open the news. There's a lot of voices. It's conflicting ideas and conflicting thoughts that everybody is fighting. There are a lot of voices that you can hear on your surrounding. But once you hear the voice of your shepherd, 
you can recognize this is the voice of my shepherd. Regardless of how many voices that I hear, but I will never be wrong with the voice of my shepherd. The shepherd, the voice is so different. The voice is so loving. The voice is so caring. The voice is so gentle. The voice is is so good because he is the good shepherd god is speaking to us god is revealing himself to us he you know god really wants to speak to us god really wants to uh, reveal himself to us god is speaking to us the question the only question that we have for us for ourselves do we hear the voice of god naririnig ba natin yung voice ng lord sa buhay natin and sabi niya dito lastly ano the lord is my shepherd i shall not want dun sa new living translation sabi niya i have all that I need. I have all that I need if the Lord is my shepherd. Whatever you need today, I declare that God will supply all your needs according to His riches and glory, right? Philippians chapter 4, 19. And David said, the Lord is my shepherd. And the question is, who is your shepherd? Or what is your shepherd right now? You know, sometimes our shepherd is sometimes my, my bank account is my shepherd because it takes care of me, you know. But nowadays, you know, bank accounts are depleting right now. A lot of people, they don't even have work. You know, sometimes my career is my shepherd because it supplies all my needs, you know. What is our shepherd right now? But you know, those are the things that they could just sustain you, lead you. But the Good Shepherd, our Lord, it's not just something that is temporary, but it can lead you to something that is eternal. That it could supply you forever. That it could supply you eternally with your life, the life, the abundance, the fullness of life. Sometimes, you know, we can make ourselves our shepherd. Myself is my shepherd. It is my way. It is my own will. It ako gagawa nito, you know. But you know that's a big danger that you don't take care of. You don't make yourself your own shepherd, but you have to make the Lord the shepherd, the shepherd of your life. Meaning, the Lord is my provider. He, I have everything all that i need the lord is my shepherd i shall not want meaning the lord is the provider he is the jehovah jireh you have to make that declaration to yourself that god is my provider come on say it god is my provider come on say it. god is my provider comment nyo comment nyo god is my provider he is my provider he is my jehovah jireh he is my shepherd comment nyo god is my the lord is my shepherd the lord is my shepherd my make a capital my your shepherd you know lagay nyo ng quotation the lord is my shepherd it's not the shepherd of anybody but your personal savior your personal shepherd you know, because God, God was generous. He He wants to provide all that you need, you know. Hindi siya yung tulad nung Diyos na may kota. Oh, anak, ano kota na kasi ako ngayon. Uh, ano next week ka na kasi ta tapos na eh. Kota na yung, ano, yung, yung generosity ko eh. Hanggang dito lang eh. Walang ganon. He's limitless God. Walang kota. So, anytime you come, He's generous God, He's provider. Hindi rin siya yung moody na God. Yan you know, siya parang, pwede ba akong lumapit kay Lord ngayon? Maganda ba yung mood niya ngayon? Baka naman, pakit yung mood niya. At hindi uh, ako, ano, pakinggan. Ano? Walang mood-mood. Anytime you come to God, He is faithful and just. You know? He is loving, He is caring. He will provide all your needs. You know? And He is the God who will provide. If God is a good shepherd, if God is a generous God, why don't we allow 
God to be our shepherd? Why don't we allow God to be our Lord? Why don't we allow God to be our provider? He is the one who provides. John 10.10, 10, sabi niya, The thief comes only to kill, to steal, and destroy, but I have come that you may have life and have it to the full, to give you abundant life. The Lord, the Yahweh, the Lord who is sovereign, who is powerful, who is great, who is yesterday, today, and forever, is my, is my personal, is my, that I have experienced Him in my life, that He is not a shepherd, He is not the shepherd, but He is my shepherd. He is not just the shepherd, He is not just a shepherd, but He is my personal shepherd and then i shall not want because i know the god the shepherd that i have is the shepherd who will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory he is the god who will provide he is the god my jehovah jireh he is my provider and he is the god who's willing to give everything that I need, even his life. The good shepherd is will lay his life before his sheep. Let us close our eyes and let's pray. We want to thank you, Lord, our Jehovah Jireh, our shepherd, our good shepherd, my shepherd. Thank you, Lord, that you have laid down your life for your sheep, for the sheep, for someone who is like me, for someone who is a sheep, who is a sinful oh Lord, who has strayed away, who gone away, and yet, and yet, you love me. You care for me that you have provided all my needs according to your riches and glory. And at this moment, I'm making a declaration that you are the Lord, the sovereign God, the God who's yesterday, today, and forever, who is my shepherd, who is my shepherd. And since you are my shepherd, I got the key. Even though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are my shepherd. That you are my shepherd. That I will be provided for. Thank you, O Lord, for this wonderful experience. And the word, O God, that you have given to us. We want to give you the highest glory honor and praise in the mighty name of our savior jesus christ our shepherd our jehovah jireh the god was yesterday today and forever in jesus name amen amen and amen praise the lord glory to god happy